Oh, ah, well, here we all are again. So strap yourselves down and get ready for another barnstorming, tap thumping, side splitting entertainment spectacular! <laughs> but first, it's the Basil Brush Show. <laughs> 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 Hang on, that's not funny. <laughs> I bet they can hear you in the next world with a gob like that. <laughs> Who are you, anyway? The name's Rossiter. Mr Rossiter. I am the landlord. I've never seen you before. No, that's cos I'm a new character. Oh, right. That's nice. No, not really. I'm a complete scumbag. <laughs> you must be that wide-faced, unemployed children's entertainer that lives with the furball in number <laughs> two. <laughs> I have not got a wide face. Now, don't blame me, lad. They pay for the lines, I just say them, all right? <laughs> Here, ever thought of sleeping with your head in a vice? <laughs> <laughs> I'll pop you one in a minute, Grandad. I've done a bit of boxing, you know. What was that then? Cardboard boxing? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> I was just improvising. Hey! Push, push, push! Oi, 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 Mr What's It For? What are you doing? I am evicting the previous tenants. What previous tenants? There! Where? There! On the floor! <laughs> Those ten ants! <laughs> <laughs> I know, it's stupid, isn't it? <laughs> Alan, I'm going to be showing some people round later, so can you please try to appear normal? <laughs> no, forget it, I've seen the show, it's beyond you. <laughs> well, try not appearing at all! <laughs> You have to admit, he's got a point. Yeah, unlike you. <laughs> <laughs> boom, boom. I wonder who your new neighbour's going to be. Uh, maybe a, a love interest for me? <laughs> <laughs> Oi, what's so funny? I've been told I'm uh, quite a catch. Oh, yes, who by? An optically challenged fisherman. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't be so ridiculous. <laughs> Here's one I caught yesterday. Isn't she a beauty? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going for a bit of a lie down. <laughs> anyway, Mustache, I've got new neighbours to impress. I'll bet they're dying to meet me. It's lovely, it's charming. It's a rat! <laughs> Flaming cheek. <laughs> Got me key. <laughs> As a nice, respectable, middle class couple, <laughs> we're looking to appear in a nice, respectable, middle class situation comedy. No belly laughs. They give her indigestion. Don't be coarse, darling. Sorry, darling. Just um, the occasional giggle would be acceptable. <laughs> boom, boom. <laughs> and uh, what is that dreadful noise? Here you go, Dave. You'll go. Oh! Children! And... Fire! <laughs> oh, good shot, Master Dave! <laughs> and the talking squirrel! <laughs> oh, come along, darling. This is definitely not our sort of show. Let's try the Vicar of Dibley. At least it's mildly amusing! <laughs> Got any nuts? <laughs> <laughs> Got one more person coming round to see the flat. And you want another dazzling display of wit and welcome from yours truly? No. <laughs> what I want is for you lot not to be here. <laughs> Here's a fiver. <laughs> Why don't you go to the cinema? Preferably on another planet. How dare you think that we would desert our loyal audience for mere cash? I'll have you know that we are made of finer stuff. <laughs> Restrain young Dave, Mr. Stephen! <laughs> Dave, how could you? Ten pounds? <laughs> Where's my space helmet? <laughs> ah, well, just the two of us, eh, Mr. Stephen? Standing shoulder to shoulder. <laughs> we cannot be bought off, not even for 15 pounds. Isn't it right, Mr. Stephen? Absolutely. Yeah. But make it 20 and I might be a bit more flexible. <laughs> I'm out of 
money and I'm out of patience. Now, come here, I've got plans for you too. <laughs> <laughs> We won't have any more trouble from those two clowns. <laughs> Poor deluded fool. He'll learn as we all did the hard way. <laughs> nope, we are mm. well and truly locked in. You know what's really ironic? Spinach. It's high in all sorts of minerals, not just iron. <laughs> oh, you pleck. Here we are, locked in the loo. And suddenly, I find I need to go. Quite desperately, it happens. Do you? Oh, no. What? Now I need to go, too. <laughs> oh. This way, Mr... Um... My name is not important. Oh, right. Mr. Important. <laughs> or should I just call you not? Is that meant to be funny? Yeah, apparently, but don't blame me. I didn't write it. <laughs> How are we going to get out? Uh, next question, but make it a slightly easier one if you do it bad. <laughs> I know. You could always swim for it. <laughs> don't be disgusting. The name's Bezel Brax, not Flaming Bog Bro. Oh, well. That's it, then. Huh? What are you doing? I'm going to read the paper for the rest of the show. But what about our viewers? They can read it when I'm finished with it. <laughs> no, you large-faced lunatic. <laughs> I mean, it's hardly going to be award-winning entertainment, is it, watching you read the paper? Oh, I don't know. Might be funnier than what we normally do. <laughs> <laughs> Oi. And this is the living room. An ideal room for living in. The bedroom's through there. That's the bathroom. And this is the mushroom. <laughs> we thought that might appeal to you because you look like a fun guy. <laughs> Don't tell me. The writer again. <laughs> what is he? Four years old? No, I don't think he's that old. <laughs> I see United one again. Oh, shut up. <laughs> Just making conversation. Look, what would we do if we were in the movies? Uh, eat some sweets with really noisy rappers and ruin the film for everyone. <laughs> no, you melon-headed idiot. <laughs> We'd make our escape through the air conditioning system via a handily placed grill on the ceiling. If it hasn't escaped your attention, I'm only 18 inches tall. Now throw me down a rope and hoist me up. I haven't got a rope. Well, take your trousers off then. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not taking my trousers off. Oh, do come on. Now look, not only will it get us out of our predicament, but it might make for some memorable comic entertainment, suitable for all the family. Eh? Depending, of course, on which underpants you put on this morning. <laughs> Uh, not those exotic frilly ones, I hope. Uh... Oh, I'm so having a word with my agent about this. <laughs> <laughs> ah, good man. <laughs> uh... Great. Thanks, Basil. Next time you have a bright idea, do me a favour and check I'm not around before you tell me. <laughs> Oi, where are you going? To find the wardrobe department and get a new pair of trousers. Well, you're going the wrong way. How do you know? I'm a fox. I have a nose for this sort of thing. <laughs> the only thing you've got a nose for is trouble. Oh, stop moaning. <laughs> I say, has anyone ever told you you've got a lovely pair of legs? <laughs> no. I'm not surprised. <laughs> now, come on! The 
horrible, dingy, squalid little flat with hardly enough room to swing a cat. Oh, do you have a cat? <laughs> Will you ask? No, I don't have a cat. But the $64,000 question is, is it quiet? Oh, absolutely. Quiet as a mouse. Oh! <laughs> was the mouse. <laughs> oh, come on, slow coach. Oh, this is hopeless. We must have gone miles. Mm. And so it looks like there's going to be showers all day. Shh. It's coming from down there. And in summary, or should I say wintry, that means to say we're going to have some absolute downpours. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Raining simply cats and dogs. No! <laughs> and foxes. <laughs> boom, boom. <laughs> Oi! <laughs> Don't shake a leg, Mr. Stephen. <laughs> and now for the sport. <laughs> United one again. Oh, right, thanks. <laughs> and a bloke with a big head. <laughs> oh, oh, Mr. Oi. Oh, God. He doesn't give up, does he? I'm not sure I can run anymore. But you haven't done any running. I've been carrying you. Oi. Hey, read the reviews, mate. I think you'll find I've been carrying you for years. <laughs> Ha <laughs> oh, ha, oh, very funny, Baz. <laughs> Just scream if you want to go faster, baby. Uh. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll think of something. But in the meantime, you'll just have to be patient. <laughs> <laughs> Look at a flaming kill you, Basil. Oh, shh, lie still. Here comes the doctor. Mm. Doctor. Doctor. Mm. And a nurse. Well, hello. Well, let's see what we have here. Oh, hmm. Oh. I don't like the look of that one little bit. Stupid haircut. Great big watermelon of a head. Well, I suppose one shouldn't judge the book by its cover. I think we'd better operate straight away. It's touch and go, but I haven't lost a patient yet. <laughs> well, only the odd bit. <laughs> well, this is one patient you're definitely about to lose. And whole. Oh, thank you very much, cos I'm off. Come on, Basil. I'm sure I could find a party my show for an actress of such obvious talent. <laughs> Basil! <laughs> oh, oh, uh, quick, in there. Come on, get changed. It's the perfect disguise. I am not wearing that. No. The answer's no. Oh, come on, let me help you. I've warmed my paw. <laughs> get out! <laughs> oh, wait, try this on. Go on. Oh, oh, is everything all right in there? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't seen a demented squirrel and a fat face fool run through here, have you? Fat face fool? <laughs> <laughs> they went that way. Now, get lost. I mean, go away. <laughs> oh, come on, Mr. Stephen. Do keep happy. <laughs> Though it must be murder in those heels. <laughs> oh. Don't say another word. Not another word, or so help me, I'll make you eat your flaming brush backwards. Ooh, that's not very ladylike language. <laughs> By the way, pink definitely suits you. <laughs> Mum, if you're watching, I'm really, really sorry.
One year in advance. Is cash okay? Oh, yes. yes. <laughs> and you can assure me that this is a decent neighborhood with no funny characters. Oh, absolutely. I think I can guarantee no funny characters whatsoever. <laughs> no, if you'll excuse me. According to the script, I have to visit the bathroom. <laughs> oh, do come on, Mr. Stephen. Hurry up. <laughs> Here we are again, eh? <laughs> well, at least I think we are. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Perhaps you're wondering what a fox in surgical greens and a man in a pink floral frock are doing in your bathroom? Something like that. Yeah, me too. Uh, uh, perhaps my lovely lady companion would care to explain. No. Why don't you explain? So you see, it's all been just a silly little misunderstanding <laughs> that I'm sure we'll all laugh about later. <laughs> oh, maybe not. And can I just add that it's certainly a pleasure to meet our new big, mean-looking neighbour <laughs> who looks like he could kill with his bare eyes, never mind his hands. <laughs> all true. Apart from the neighbour bit. The apartment isn't for me. No. 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 It's for my daughter. Oh, yeah. Hi. I'm Ella. <laughs> you don't see. And I'm Basil. But you can call me Basil. <laughs> Pleased to meet you, Basil. <laughs> Is your uh, friend okay? Well, Mr. Steve, I mean, Miss Stephen, stop dribbling. <laughs> You'll ruin your lipstick. <laughs> Sorry. Look, there's a perfectly reasonable explanation for why I'm dressed like this. Explanation, yes. But reasonable, no. This is a nut house. Ella, we're leaving. Go get your bags. No, Dad. No, you might be leaving, but I'm not. I like it here. I want to stay. It looks like fun. No, Ella. You're not here for fun. You're here to study. What's wrong with having fun? Good question. Fifteen love to the lovely Miss Ella. There's plenty of time for fun once you've qualified as a liar. Nice backhand from the big man. Fifteen all. In seven years' time. Nice block return. I don't want to be a lawyer. Not in seven years and not now. It's only you that wants me to. 30-15. Ella, I only want what's best for you. Clever lob from the caring but slightly overbearing parent. 30-all. I'm not your little girl anymore, Daddy. I'm a woman now. She certainly is. <laughs> 40 30 what about what I want? Ella, I only want you to be happy. Then you have to let me make my own choices and my own mistakes. I want to stay here. I want to sing and I want to dance. Not bury myself away under a mountain of boring law books. It's my life. Just please let me live it. That's so moving. <laughs> I think I feel a song coming on. Sit and 
match to Miss Ellamy thinks. Oh, she's my hero. It makes you proud to be a woman. Did he else it? Sorry. <laughs> well, maybe I can be a bit domineering. Maybe you are growing up. So maybe... Maybe you can stay. Maybe. Yes. <laughs> but only if there's definitely no more lunacy. Why is he looking it off? How do you know? <laughs> Rest assured, my good man, lunacy is but a dim and distant memory. <laughs> Ella, we're leaving. Get back. Right, folks, charge your glasses. Right, glasses, pay up. That'll be twelve pounds, please. <laughs> <laughs> and raise them high. OK, make that 50 pounds. <laughs> As we welcome Miss Ella to the cast. Cheers, guys. But I still don't know how you managed to persuade my dad to agree to my staying. Ah, that was easy, Miss Ella. I simply appealed to his sense of humour. Oh, right. But he doesn't have a sense of humour. No. I know. <laughs> boom! Boom! <laughs> oh, please! Oh. Hey, hey, you like this one? Have you stopped a sweaty man from smelling, eh? <laughs> Cut off his nose. <laughs> <laughs> boom! <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Any more? Yeah, Any more? I've got yeah. that number. I've got that number. I'll give it. Ella can stay. Really? Just please. No more boom boom! I knew you'd see since they always do. <laughs> well, here's to Miss Ella, who I have to say really is one hell of a girl. <laughs> boom boom! <laughs> Sorry, that was thoughtless. <laughs> <laughs> I say, Mr. Stephen, Miss Ella seems nice, eh? Should add a touch of glamour to the show. <laughs> Though you didn't do so badly yourself. <laughs> I'm not talking to you. Oh, stop sulking your big girl's blows. Big girl's blows, exactly, that's my point. I mean, how am I ever going to be taken seriously as an actor with you having me parading round dressed as a flaming woman? I thought it would show off your vast range. <laughs> And a bit more besides. <laughs> oh, shut up. Well, be like that then. And I won't tell you about the phone call from the Royal Shakespeare Company inquiring about your availability for the lead in their latest production. Wow. Really? Absolutely mental. That's brilliant. Is it Hamlet? Macbeth. One of the Henrys. What? Nope. Romeo and Juliet. <gasps> Fantastic me as Romeo. Uh. Not quite, Mush. They want to measure you for your frock next Tuesday. 